Hey, it's Brian with Explorer here to talk about the electrical components of the interior kit. Comes with a wiring harness with all the connectors pre-attached, as well as everything well labeled for install. You also get six LED ceiling lights with on and off buttons on the light itself. Get two 12 volt sockets, two USB ports for both USB-C and USB-A, a 150 amp breaker switch, a 12 circuit fuse block, as well as a couple of grommets and some zip ties to install everything. We also supply you with some six gauge wire to attach to whatever your electrical source is for this. And it will take a few extra tools to install all of it. Just a Phillips head screwdriver, a crimper for 14 to 16 gauge butt connectors, and then a crimper for some six gauge connectors as well. Uh, we also use a heat gun just to make sure all the heat shrink is well attached after install. All right, let's take a look at the wiring harness in a little more detail here. This end has all of the ring connectors that are gonna to attach to the 12 volt fuse box. They are also all labeled independently to know which circuit you're attaching. As we work our way up the wiring harness, you're gonna to get to the first bifurcation point here. And at that point is where we're gonna do the initial attachment of the wiring harness to the van. So just be familiar with that location. Everything from here on out to the wiring harness is gonna be used to attach to our lighting in the ceiling, our fan, as well as all the 12 volt sockets and USB ports. So let's move on inside the van. I'll show you how to find the right location to start the attachment, and then we'll install the rest of the wiring harness. All right, so we're in the van here. We've got the wiring harness um, attached across the top, but the way to orient this again is ring connectors are gonna head down to the bottom of the base of the driver's seat. And again, these are all nicely labeled for you. So as we follow the wiring harness up now, we come to this first bifurcation point there, and that's where we have a zip tie. It's right at the standoff from the factory wiring harness. We can then continue to cross here, and at every one of these standoffs, we are gonna add another zip tie and we're gonna secure the wiring harness straight down. If you ever question you know, what's coming off, take a look at it. If it's these two with the pins on it for the Molex connectors, those are for the lights. We'll fish those through in a little bit. And as you go down, you'll have lights in the front, lights in the middle, and then as we work towards the back, we'll find the ones for the fan as well as the USBs in the rear. Okay, now that we've got the number one zip tie attached here at the bifurcation point, we've got the main harness running down the back of the B-pillar. It's taped in place. You can use duct tape or gaff tape, whatever you have to secure it. Keep it away from the seatbelt um, attachment points and we'll run it right down to the base of the driver's seat. There's an additional um, point after the bifurcation that is wiring for the 12 volt and USB ports, and that runs down the channel in the panel here um, and comes out at the bottom, and we'll attach that in a little bit. All right, so let's take a look at the wiring on the driver's seat. We've um, removed the driver's seat itself. It's very easy, it's a 10 mil socket to remove four bolts, and then you can lift the seat out of the way. Make sure the power's disconnected, and then don't forget to disconnect the wiring from the seat. There's just a couple connections that need to be disconnected before you can take the seat out. We've also got additional wiring coming from our AUX battery system. We have an AUX battery system under the hood that we're connected to here. You can connect to whatever your power source is. We also need to remove one of these components. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to do that, and that'll give us access to the ground location, a factory ground location that we can use to connect our power sources to. All right, we've attached the ground wire here to this factory ground location and run it out at the back of the pedestal. We'll now reinstall this uh, plastic component and we'll move on from there. All right, now that we've got all of our wires um, installed here, we've got the, the bundle of uh, 12 volt wires that'll go to the entire wiring harness. Those will get connected into our fuse block. We've also got our positive and our negative 
coming off of our, our power source and then a factory ground. So we'll get all this connected and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. The back of the fuse box has some very high bonding adhesive tape that works really well. So there's no drilling uh, to do on the install process. All right, so we've got the electrical installed. You can see all the ring connectors are attached and the ground and, and positive cable are attached to the fuse box. It's very securely uh, adhered there. So we'll move on to reinstalling the seat and all the connections and then move on to the next section of the install process. All right, so let's work down the van and look at the wiring that we now have installed. So the front um, panel section of the roof where the first set of um, brackets is mounted is where we're going to have a first set of lights. So we've got a set of wiring coming off here um, and coming over the top of the bracket and the ceiling and then zip tied in this section. We skip the next section and then move on to the third. And again, we've got another set of wires coming off, going over the bracket here and then zip tied into the ceiling for our other ceiling lights. As we move back, we've got one more set of, of wires that come out. This is now um, next to the fan, and you've got a set of wires that come out um, right next to the fan there, and will be for ceiling lights. And then we have one connection we need to make with these butt connectors for the fan power. So we'll do that, and then we'll move to the back and look at the rear wiring as well. All right, and you can use a heat gun or you can use uh, some sort of a flame or lighter that'll, that'll heat that down, but whatever you have, that's the only heat shrink you need to do. All right, we're at the rear of the van. There's one more bundle of wires here that runs uh, through this rear channel. So we come down to the first kind of big hole here and it runs through the channel all the way down. Comes out here. This is designed to sit above the bed for a, 12, for a USB port so you can charge your iPad or your phone while you're in bed. And then the lower one is a 12 volt port that you'll be able to use uh, for charging a fridge or other things that take a 12 volt plug.